Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help, and today we're going to be reviewing a little item that I found on eBay. It's uh, Final Cut Express, Final Cut Pro shortcut, uh, shortcut tabs for editing. You just simply stick them on your keyboard here. Very nicely done. So I'm actually running my setup from a MacBook down there with an external monitor, external keyboard here. Picked up this keyboard for about 20 bucks on eBay. It's the, I guess it's for an iBook or something, or iMac or something like that. But it's the green one. So this is a very nice keyboard uh, mounted on a swivel arm here. So you simply peel off the stickers, apply them to the keys. The keys also have the uh, letters attached to them and you see the various different functionality of Final Cut Express. So uh, this allows you to select tools over here such as your selection, your razor blade, um, also allows you to access some of the file menu um, items very quickly. And just as another shortcut, which uh, you may or may not know, if you want to increase or decrease your volume of a track by let's say three decibels, simply select the audio portion of that track. A uh, little shortcut I learned here, use the Apple key and then the left bracket, right bracket, this will decrease by three decibels, this will increase by three decibels. Um, you can also use the Apple key with the plus or minus keys right here to zoom in or zoom out on your audio and video tracks. So just a little shortcut that I learned that's not actually, you know, posted um, on those shortcuts. So there you have it, just a quick review of the uh, Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Express, stick on tabbies for your Mac keyboard for $8.50. Very good investment, but considering these keyboards normally for Final Cut Express, Final Cut Pro can run $50, $60, $80, $80 even up to $150. But they do have some very nice functions. Uh, some of them have a jog wheel so you can advance your video and stuff like that and other various functions with built-in um, actual colored keys. So you can check into that as well. But for a cheap solution, if you've got a Mac keyboard laying around for $8.50, you know, it's a good solid little investment. So there you have it, uh, my review for Final Cut Express Stick-On Tabby Keyboard Shortcuts. Thanks for watching. If this video help you out, post a comment. If not, bug my horn. Thanks.